Okay. So as I was driving, I started to hear a little bit of a clicking noise outside my window uh, where my tires are. A little clicking noise, and it seemed to increase as I drove faster uh, and decrease as I drove slower. And so my thought is that maybe I have something stuck in my tire. And so what I wanted to try to do was I wanted to, one, look at the tire pressure. My tire pressure right now is 41, 41, 41, and 40. And one of them is a little bit lower. And I kind of think that that might be the culprit. But as you may or may not be able to hear, it's a little bit of a clicking noise here. And I think that I have something actually stuck in my tire. Now, if you see my Model X review, you know that I have I have always had issues with uh, Model X and tires, but not so much with the Model S when it comes to flat tires. So I wanted to make a quick video to let everyone know how you can check to see if you have a flat tire, something stuck in your tire when it comes to Tesla, because obviously Teslas don't include spare tires and be able to make an informed decision of what the next step will be. So let me show you really quickly what that looks like in just a second. All right, so I've parked in a safe place. Um, again, my suspicion is that there's something stuck in my tire. That the tire pressure hasn't jumped significantly, and I don't get the tire pressure warning here. But I do see that this one is a little bit lower. I do hear a clicking sound, so I'm going to investigate. Now, typically, if you have someone else, you could simply get out the car, have them turn the wheel, and drive forward a little bit to be able to see where the where the, uh, the the puncture might be, where the hole might be, where the debris might be stuck in your wheel. But if you're by yourself, like I am right now, you might not have that option. So I'm gonna show you a really quick tip on how to check to see what's in your tire just by using the technology in your Tesla. So first, I'm going to go to the touch screen and I'm going to use my air suspension. Now, if you have a Model 3, you don't have air suspension, this still works uh, well by itself, but it works even better if you have air suspension. So I'm gonna go very high. I'm gonna check off the location based. I'm gonna go very high to raise the suspension very high so I can really see inside the wheel wells because I have the 21 inch tires on here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn my wheel all the way to the left or right depending on what tire you think it might be, okay? And then I'm gonna get out the car. As I get out the car, as you can see, I can now start to see inside of the entirety of the wheel and the wheel well to be able to see what's, what, what may be on the tire, okay? Nothing here. Now, again, if you have two people, you just have someone start to move forward, move forward, move forward to be able to see what's going on with the wheel. Uh, and then for the rear wheel, you're just going to be able to go in here and just get really inside and say, hey, is there anything in here? Is there any debris in here that I can see, All right? That's the typical way that you would do it manually. But because we have a Tesla, and Teslas are awesome, we can actually do something different to further help us investigate. One, I'm gonna turn the car back on, put it in drive, turn my wheel straight. Then I'm going to stop here, put it in park, now get out again. Again, my suspension's still on high. And now what I'm gonna do is either use my phone or my key fob and actually summon the car forward. And in doing so, I'll get the slowness of the, of the summon to be able to allow me to see underneath the wheel. Let's do that. I like to use the key fob. So now we have a very slow roll, so now we can really see what's underneath the wheel well and see where the issue, I'll stop here because it doesn't seem to be on this wheel, but where I suspect it to be is right here. So I'm gonna get right up in here and use my summon to be able to determine where it might be. Okay, summon on, and now go back. Up, oh, and there we see something. There I saw something, I saw something. It's moving back with it until we get to this. Aha, there we go. Can you see that? We have a nail in our tire. That's not good. Seems to be in the inner portion of the wheel, not towards the wall, so it seems like it could be patched. But let's see, what are our next steps? What do we do from here? Now we've identified, hey, we got a nail. What do we do next? So the next thing you gotta do, is jump back in your car, again, in the same place, is typically you would wanna call Tesla 
for them to be able to send over that, that lovely tire loaner service that I talked about. Uh, however, Tesla will not, will not honor that service unless you have low tire pressure warning. And if your tire pressure itself is below the tolerance, right? Below the tolerance. So for these wheels, I believe the tolerance is 35. So if it's not below 35, Tesla will not dispatch the, the, the tow truck driver or whomever to bring that loaner wheel to you. However, if it is, if your, your tire is completely blown, obviously it'll show as such, it'll show zero or dash lines, or if it's below the tolerance that Tesla allows, they absolutely will do that. You can simply press the T on your screen and you can basically hit the roadside assistance button here, roadside assistance. This will call Tesla and then you give them your information and then they'll make sure you're in a safe place, make sure the car is in a safe place and then make sure that the car is not able to drive. They'll also verify the, uh, the tire pressure number and everything is basically diagnosed remotely, which is awesome. So you don't have to worry about trying to tell them what happened and what could have happened. They'll be able to see what's going on with the car, any errors that the car is throwing, they'll be able to do that right then and there. And then from there, they'll dispatch a tow truck depending on where you are and they'll be able to send someone over who will bring a replacement wheel and they'll swap out that wheel with your current wheel. Take your current wheel to your preferred, right, service center where they'll determine whether they can fix it or not. Or you can actually use the mobile application. Uh, you can open up the mobile application and when you do so, you'll be able to schedule effectively uh, roadside assistance from there. Scroll down to the roadside assistance button. And when we click it, they're gonna ask a few questions. Again, this is replicating what you would do if you were to call the phone number. But you can choose uh, flat tire, car will not drive, charging, these are other use cases that you can use this, this for. But we're gonna focus specifically on flat tire. We'll click on flat tire. You can choose one tire, multiple tires, aftermarket wheels or tires. I'm gonna click on one because that's the issue here. I'll click next. It's gonna pop up the map and make sure that Tesla can see and the app can see exactly where you are. And then you can press confirm to go on to the next step. So that's pretty cool that you're able to do that over the app. Someone is still gonna call you either way, either Tesla representative for roadside assistance to verify the information you've submitted to the app or uh, the tow truck driver, the affiliate partner that, that's gonna bring the loaner wheel. They're gonna give you a call and they're gonna bring your wheel right to you. So for this particular instance, I am not below the threshold. That nail is in there pretty good, but it's not impacting my performance in terms of me being able to drive and it's not below the tolerance necessary for Tesla to dispatch a loaner wheel. So now what I need to do is I can either go to my own place where they can go and replace tires or I can take it to the Tesla service center myself and hopefully I don't uh, have a blowout or hope it doesn't get worse. Have them look at it and uh, re repair the tire or replace the tire accordingly. So that's just something I wanted to share with you really quickly. If you ever have a flat tire, the reason why they don't have uh, you know spare tires, obviously for space, but also because they have a great uh, contingency plan, which is, hey, if you ever get a flat tire, we have a loaner program for you. And again, using Summon, using the technology that's in here to be able to assess the situation on your own with air suspension, being able to look inside the wheel well, identify and, and verify where the puncture may be and be able to make an informed decision from there. Okay, so hopefully you like this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're, what your experiences are with flat tires. Uh, and until the next one, and until the next time I get this tire fixed, enjoy your Tesla and enjoy your day.